What's goody? Welcome back. Hope everything's okay. Everyone, I hope everyone's being safe and staying healthy. I hope everybody's not catching the Rona, the Roni. Come on, bro. Today, I decided to have a heart to heart with everybody. More like a, a insight inside of my mind. An explanation of why I'm so inconsistent with a lot of things I do. And more of a positivity video just to spread good words and good vibes. I know my last video. What are you doing, bro? Uh, I hope it don't start raining, bro, in the middle of this. This man is scared of lightning. This man is scared of fireworks, everything. I don't know where to start, but I'm gonna basically like get into the history. Bro, look at these clouds, dog. I really hope it don't start coming down. It's gonna suck. I've been doing YouTube for some years now, and a lot of you guys have been following me through my whole journey. Through the entire time since I've been living in New Jersey, since I was in high school, early high school. I've been very uh, flip-floppy with it, um, inconsistent. I I wasn't never really on no schedule. When I did try it, I didn't hold, it up, hold up to that schedule um, too well. There's a lot of reasoning behind that, but those of you who are new probably don't understand that that I've been doing that for a while, but a lot of you can tell, bro, it's looking crazy. Don't you hate when it says it's gonna rain at like 10 p.m. and it starts raining at 4? But when I first started YouTube, uh, I was so excited to start it. Um, I didn't have everything. I didn't have no equipment, really. I just had the iPhone 4S. I used to record off my iPhone and make videos. When I would try to edit, I also didn't have the, the the power for it, the computer for it. I really couldn't afford the top of the line stuff growing up. I couldn't afford cameras and things like that, which kind of demotivated me. But as I started working towards getting things and asking for things for Christmas and things I really needed, the only, my only focus was to get equipment. And I started getting those little pieces of equipment along the way. It, it kept me motivated, um, you know, and the crazy part is now I have all the equipment I could ever ask for I need. Like I have this 4K camera, this this 60 FPS camera. I have a beast laptop, a beast um, PC I just built, um, capture cards, mics. I have editing software. I have consoles. I have whatever I need to make the best content, the highest quality. What the hell, bro? This It'd be shit out here, bro. Crazy. Um, now that I can make the best content possible, bro, come here. Now that I can make the best quality content possible, it's like I don't even do it. It's like, I mean, I do. You guys have seen. I've been putting um, stuff out recently, and this man just doo doo. He got so happy. <laughs> um, it's like now that I have everything, I still don't get that spark to just jump up and do it i'm a big procrastinator like i don't sit there i'm not gonna sit there and tell people uh and act like i've been i'm the hardest worker ever like i've been grinding but you know i figured or i assumed that it was because you know of what i'm doing maybe the career path maybe it's because of you know uh gaming it's because of competitive you guys know i play competitive cod you guys know i'm a really competitive person um I thought it was, you know, I need to change my atmosphere, my pace, what, what, what I'm doing, my career path. You know, I thought it was, I have to, you know. I started to realize that no matter what I did, this dark cloud of being demotivated or, or unmotivated, it always creeps in no matter what. No matter what it is. Like, it doesn't matter if I'm producing, if I'm playing competitive Call of Duty, if I'm playing sports, if I'm making youtube videos it doesn't matter it's like this dark cloud always creeps in it's not that i don't enjoy it and i don't have the love for it because people try to th people think it's that simple that it's it's about oh what doing what you love i could love something dearly from the bottom of my heart not make a single dime off of it not make any clout off of it not be recognized for it and still have this feeling that that comes over me it doesn't matter what i think it is is one like my mental health I, I think a lot of creators have mental health issues like we all just you know 
try to balance out uh, the success and, and talking to everybody and your friends start acting weird or people you associate with start acting weird, start calling you Hollywood, celebrity, oh, you're getting around famous people, no, you're different, everyone. People like to twist it up in your head that you're acting different, that you, uh, you think you're better than them because you're busy and you'd rather be working and doing things productive, doing things that's gonna make you money and make your family money and uh, help you take care of the people you love. People think that since you'd rather be doing that and working on your craft instead of hanging out and going to parties, going to the club and you know doing things like that, people think that you're stunting on them or you're trying to flex or you're thinking you're better than them and really you're just trying to better your own future. You know, um, it's things like that. It's, it's things like trying to live a normal lifestyle, um, not wanting to be cooped up in front of a computer all day, editing or making beats or stuck in your room and your setup in your office. You want to go out, you want to have fun, you want to enjoy life, um, do normal people things. You want to have a relationship, um, you know, with a girl or with your family and your friends. You want to do things other than just that. But um, a lot of times you're expected to just constantly do this 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 and that by the people who don't actually do that the people who don't actually work in entertainment or this type of field they expect you to constantly do this and that when they don't understand like how much pressure and how much work it is to to like you know be upset or be going through things and then just turn on a camera and be entertaining or or turn around and be productive and creative and and fake it like you're having a good time or you're having a good day and it's it's not always like that i'm really just squatting here bro i, I don't even know what's going on I, I like you know the scenery it's peaceful out here i like the view i think the main thing is is like the pressure of feeling like you have to like it's too late or you have to do something you have to do something now 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 and you come up with so many ideas you come up with so many things you can do that you you actually end up with too many ideas and it's too much chaos going on in your head like you you know you feel like uh you have to do everything and you can do everything and it becomes to the point where you have so many ideas you don't know what order to go in you don't know what to do first and you just kind of shut down you kind of get depressed you kind of get upset you kind of you know, every single day that you don't do something productive, you feel depressed because you feel like you're not doing nothing with yourself or you're not being productive or you're, you're, you're missing out on opportunities or you're prolonging meeting your goals and your dreams. I want to say, forget all that. I want to say, forget the pressure, you know? If you feel like something's right, do it. Do something you're comfortable with. If you don't feel like something's going to come out really, really good, don't do it. If you feel like a thousand people are making the same video, don't make it. Trust what you feel in your gut is right. I'm a big procrastinator too. There's a huge chunk of laziness in me, in my qualities and my traits. There's a huge chunk of not feeling like doing it. Sometimes you want to feel like everybody else. You want to sit back and watch TV, you know, like everybody else. Sometimes you want to sit back and relax like everybody else. Don't mentally drain yourself all the time which is it's gonna happen in this type of career path and this lifestyle and this just in industry of entertainment you're gonna be depressed you're gonna be upset you're gonna have people acting weird and different things are gonna change things are gonna move fast but always make sure your mental health is first make sure everything is good up up in your head first you know at the end of the day we all get one life. You don't want to lose yourself. You don't want to lose, you know, the happiness you could have, you know, trying to put too much pressure on yourself. Come on, bro. Come on. That's my cue to end this video. Yeesh. I just want to say, keep your mental health on point. Focus on what you love, the people you love, spending time with them. Keep the positive vibes going. 2020 has been crazy, but I, uh, all the news and the things that's been going on recently, it leads me to to believe and keep keep my hopes up. And understand that. Understand that the rest, the, towards the end of this year and the rest of this year is gonna be lit for, for everybody, for me and, and all the people I love. Appreciate everybody once again for supporting me. Good vibes, good everything. I like to walk my dog, clear my head. Come on, bro.
And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter down below. I'll see you on the next video. Be easy.